Hi guys, welcome back to Share Fenty. <laughs> Welcome to Chef A's kitchen again, again. Um, I know you've missed me. I know it's been a whole week. I know, I know, I know, I know. On today's episode, we are going to be making a very traditional, very um, cultural, very. I'm trying, English isn't my first language, so please, guys, bear with me. Yeah, bear with, bear with, bear with, bear with. Okay, so on today's episode of Chef A's kitchen, we're going to be making. It's very Nigerian, very traditional, very cultural breakfast. You can eat for breakfast, you can eat for lunch, you can eat for dinner, um, graduation, wedding, burial, gardening party, a house party, moving date, breakup with boyfriend, new boyfriend, christening, childbirth. <laughs> Today we are making egg and yam. We're gonna start off with this African meal, snack, meal, takeaway. <laughs> Let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so these are my ingredients. Look how pretty that looks. Three scotch bonnet, three sweet potatoes. Usually you would use yam, but the shop didn't have yam and I need to record this video. So we use sweet potatoes. I'm sure it's gonna add a nice flavor to the, the food. We have fresh tomatoes. You can use canned. Four bell peppers. I'm probably just gonna use two. Baby plum tomato for decoration. Plantain. And of course, the main of this meal, we have egg. I need to get all the seasoning ready. We really don't need much for this meal. So all we're gonna use for seasoning is salt and Maggi cube. That is all, that's all I'm putting in the seasoning. If I add more along the process, I'll let you know, but as of right now, this is all I'm putting. Okay, so I unintentionally lied about the seasoning before. For seasoning, we're gonna have salt, Maggi cube, curry powder, and thyme. That's our seasoning. Let's go. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to wash the vegetables. Since in my last video, I had so many questions. Did you wash the, yes, I washed the vegetables in my last video. I did, I did, I did. I don't eat vegetables without washing them, but I'm gonna wash the peppers and the tomatoes that I'm gonna be using, and then we're gonna get to cutting. Yeah? Okay. Then okay, we're gonna have to peel the plantain and peel the sweet potato so we can put it on the fire. into three one two three one plantain done done we're gonna peel the sweet potato um i have a peeler but i don't use it <laughs> this is a sweet potato right yeah, it's not a sweet potato boy, we're going to find that today. I'm actually being attacked by the, the, the pills, by the way, in case you didn't know. How are you meant to get in here? I picked the most ugly sweet potato ever. I'm going to cut it and then I'll pick it after. You also got to wash your sweet potato. I'm going to wash mine once I've put it into pieces. Oh, that's a flower. Somebody tell me, I don't know how to present food. That right there is a flower. Your WCW could never. That's a flower. Get out of town, mate. This plating is gonna be phenomenal, what the hell? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, this is a teddy bear. Oh my gosh, I forgot an ingredient. Onions and a garlic. That was the perfect cut. I'm gonna try and do the cut Olympics. <sighs> so that one's in first place because it was a nice clean cut. Let's see if anyone can beat it. Oh, 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 oh. coming in close second. I love it, I love it. Nah, they're patterning up. Ever since I did that cut Olympics, they're incorporating. Literally, if this is a yam, you cut it the same way, but you try and be careful because there's some itchy stuff inside it. That means you'll be itching for days. All right, I'm gonna wash the yams and I'm gonna, well, not yams, sweet potato, and I'm gonna be right back. All right, now we're gonna cut the onions and the garlic. I forgot to mention that this is a requirement. 
onions and garlic. We're gonna cut those. Dice them into nice little cubes. <laughs> gonna do is we're gonna fry all the ingredients the ingredients the egg for our yam and egg or potato and egg we're gonna fry all the ingredients right now turn on the fire add the oil that's more than enough let it all heat up for a moment the oil has been heating up for a minute we're gonna add the onions and the garlic you're gonna hear it sizzle already okay immediately to this you want to add um the pepper and the salt salt. Here's the peppers. Let it simmer, okay? Now you want to add the tomatoes. Let it simmer for about four minutes. Turn the heat up. Alright, here you want to add the seasoning. A twinkle of salt. A dash of spice. And a pinch of everything nice. Also two Maggi cubes. <laughs> My yummy egg is going to be colourful because I added so many different colours in there. But it's good, you know. Gives the, the flavour pers- the flavour gives the food personality. <coughs> That's hot. <laughs> Ooh. That heat hit me by surprise, man. Personally to me, there's not enough tomatoes in it, so I'm just going to add some tomato puree. Just, just a dash. This is not recommended. Don't do this. Then it'll dollop. Alright, we're almost ready to add the egg. Alright, it's ready now to add the egg. What I'm going to do in the middle is create like a nice little circle. I'm going to pour the egg in and let it chill for like a, a minute or 30 seconds. This is pretty hot. Yam and plantain have been cooked, well, sweet potato and plantain, they're cooked, they're done. All I added was a little bit of salt to the water and then you know it's done when you taste it and it tastes soft and it melts in your mouth. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the plating. The food is done, the eggs cooked, the sweet potato, plantain cooked, now we're going to plate it. I'm not going to do what I did last video and draw up the plate this time. What I did do though is I googled some images of yam and egg stew. I'm gonna show you the images and I'm gonna try and recreate them. This is image number one. This is yam and egg stew. I'm gonna try and do this one first. If that one goes well, I'm gonna try and do this one. So guys, wish me luck. Let's get cracking. All right, so we're using this plate this time. Over one. In the picture, they didn't really have plantain. The yam was, lo yam was lonely. All right, cool, where's my flowers? Ugh, you thought I forgot about the flowers. I didn't. <laughs> flower doesn't look too happy but we move let's bring the egg I'm gonna put it on this side I tried to angleize the flower at the front it doesn't really like the picture because she didn't have plantain. I didn't really know what to do. So here it goes. <sighs> what do you think? I think this is nice. Right, okay, this is the flower. These are meant to be like the leaves. And this is like the stem type thing on this side. I think this is really nice. <sighs> Maybe I need new I, I think this is nice. You lot tell me what you think. Okay guys, so that has been Chef's Kitchen. We made yam, yeah, well, sweet potato and plantain with egg stew. A very traditional Nigerian breakfast dish, should I say. We eat it any time of the day because we don't really have sense of time. But <laughs> it's a Nigerian, traditional Nigerian breakfast on like a special occasion. Usually we just eat bread 
done it yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been Chef Face Kitchen. Thank you for coming back again. For all those that keep watching me. I really appreciate all the love and support and all the, you know, you know, the, you know the whole thing. Go back and watch the soul story at the end of the last video. Tune in next week. I don't know what we're going to make, but we're going to make something, something a little bit different, I feel like. Make sure you eat, what is it? Make sure you eat well, eat healthy, eat right. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Pause then.